Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long. Um, it's been a while and um, I've just had a lot of time to cultivate a deep connection with my purpose and um, I have some changes that I have coming up. Um, so first, I'm going to commit to making more videos more often on this channel. Um, <laughs> before it was like every two months and now it is going to be... Um, a little bit more but first um, you know I'm gonna start by doing this challenge that we'll talk about later um, second a tribe of three sisters is no longer gonna be selling products so if you were um, on my website and you know looking for new stuff we're not doing products anymore um, until a later date when I am actually able to sustain the business I currently am not able to sustain the business but I will still be doing herbal consultations I'll be doing wellness consultations. All of my services will still be active. Um, the only thing is I'm not gonna be creating products anymore. Uh, which is sad, but I'll come back to it when the time comes, right? So, now I'm gonna talk to you about my 22 day wellness challenge. The number 22 has a lot of significance to me. So 22 is about realizing your dreams and pushing into your purpose and understanding um, how to get to the greatest you and um, recently I have been meditating on what is going on in my mind I am like in this fog I know I'm not the only one who's been in this fog I know a lot of people have been in the fog but um, I was trying to figure out why I was feeling so lost why was I so afraid to do the things that I wanted to do um, and so I realized that I was afraid of, I guess, my power. And I think most people don't think about that. No one thinks about being afraid of moving into the next step in your journey, moving into a step that will bring you to a place where you can actually achieve your goals. Because then you've achieved your goals. There's always more goals. So, um, so last night, the Scorpio full moon dragged me out of bed <laughs> it really did it dragged me out of bed and I ended up meditating on so much um and I came to so many different conclusions and one thing I came to the conclusion is that I am not going to strive for anything less than the greatest part the greatest version of myself and I know I'm not the only person who is dealing with this right now. I know there are more people out there who are dealing with exactly the same thing I'm dealing with. So this challenge is coming at a perfect time. 22 days, the rest of May, we're going to be moving ourselves into the greatest version of ourselves. So 22 is a great number. So what I'm going to do the way I do this challenge, I'm going to post a video the day before so that you can be prepared for the next day. And then... Um, I'm going to post um, in the same video <laughs> how my previous day went and um, we can share our journeys together. We can move in the journey of our greater selves together. So every time you post, please tag the hashtag Airy Well Challenge, um, as you can see right here. <laughs> and um, I'll be able to see how you guys have adapted my challenges to your everyday life and you'll be able to see how I've adapted my challenges, um, obviously, <laughs> and we can go into a more well version of ourselves together. I'm really excited to move in this journey with you. Um, I'm also going to challenge everyone to um, have self-compassion have a little bit of understanding and non-judgment throughout this whole thing. Um, tomorrow's challenge, because we are starting tomorrow, tomorrow's challenge is for you to meditate on something that is important to you. So I have already done it, um, but I'm going to do it again. <laughs> um, meditate on something that is important to you. It can be fear. It could be lostness. It could be... Um, your goals, it could be your career goals, it could be your love goals. Um, just meditate on what is important to you. And I'm gonna ask you, once again, to have some self-compassion, to have some self-love non-judgment. Do not 
judge yourself for feeling lost. Do not make yourself feel bad because, you know, you have fear. Those things are not necessarily a weakness, not necessarily a bad thing. If you were lost, the journey to be found is a journey where you can learn the most about yourself. If you are fearful, you know, the journey to understand that fear, to really understand how your fear is controlling you is a good way to overcome fears in the future and just become better. It's okay to be afraid. People... People are afraid. That's completely fine. It's up to you to find ways to not let that fear stop you from being your greatest self. So when you find out that you're afraid of something, that's completely okay. It's okay to be afraid. Just know that this is the time for you to learn how to overcome that fear, how to be the person you want to be despite the fear. despite the fear. So I challenge you to be as well as you possibly can. Please tag your post, like and subscribe if you wanna keep going on the challenge. I am so excited to be able to um, move into this space with you. Um, if you have anything to tell me, go ahead and write down in the comments. I am so excited to be doing this. I can't wait to see what you guys get out of this challenge. Have an amazing day, bye.